Man, remember when a wild born preserver was an actual fearsome card? <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> How's it going, boys? So today on Historic, we are playing a Simic Mill deck. Pom, 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 pom. Exactly. A Simic Mill deck with Ruin Crab and Tasha's hideous laughter. If you were ever unhappy with your life, rest assured, if you make this deck, you play this deck, your life may be miserable and de this deck will not stop that, uh, but your enemy will feel much, much worse. Even if they win, they're gonna feel much, much worse because they had to play against the Ruin Crab and Tasha's hideous laughter. Those two things are extremely unpleasant. So, this is Simic Ram slash Stall slash mill. A lot of stalling, a lot of graveyard resetting, a lot of ramping, and a discovered formula, plus a prime amulet. Primal amulet. But it is a prime amulet, if I'm being honest here. And a bunch of lands. 24, 22, 22 maybe-ish lands, to be specific, are very good, very stable. And with that being said, boys, please like and subscribe. That helps out tremendously. YouTube is not showing my videos to a couple of people who have been subscribed, well, not subscribed, but have watched my videos for a long time. And if that happens, you need to subscribe, otherwise you're not gonna see a couple of videos, because YouTube says no. I don't like it when you make fun of an indie development company. So, no videos today. And you can say, Oi, no, I will not, uh, I do not re want that. I do not want the government of YouTube to dictate my life. So, fuck them. And just press the subscribe button. And with that being said, without any further ado, let's just uh, get a cracking and see what happens. I honestly want wizards to explain this to me. I win a game. I get zero rank. I lose a game. I lose rank. How does that work? And don't tell me, well, if you lose to someone that's a lower percent than you, obviously you're gonna lose rank. But I win people. I play against people who have numbers. Very nice. I'm gonna go all in, baby boo. This this is either a super loss or a super win. But yeah. Hello there. What's your name? What's your size? Merfolk. Is this one... Is this gonna be one of those situations where I'm playing against the Merfolk deck that some miraculously how is legitimately rolling with counter spells? Because again... In a real world, you can't lose against a creature deck that doesn't have damage with this. It's just, it's, I, I just have the souths. I just have the everything. Also, Jade Light Ranger, that's just horrible. That is, that is absolutely horrible. Okay, gonna drop this because this will save me a little bit of time. It's not that bad. See? Spell Pierce! That's a joke! That's an absolute travesty of a joke! A merfolk deck that has counter spells. I think I'm gonna vomit. I, 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 it's not. It's this not okay. The good part is, hey, oh, he didn't want that. Hall of Storm Giants. Are you insane, my boy? Well, at least we're kind of stretching the uh, envelope here. A little bit. Okay, he has a lot of counter spells, not just some counter spells. Uvu Awa, the game plan. Okay, play this. Okay, next turn. Okay, as long as we get to discover the formula, which should be possible because this is not a lot of deeps. Yeah, that's like super low, low key bad. Five deeps is completely handleable. Okay, and I milled a lot of his counter spells. I am happy noises. But again, if I'm not gonna draw at least... Oh, jeez, Louise, don't tell me I'm legitimately not gonna draw any... No, I, I refuse to believe it, okay? I, I refuse to believe this. Look at this. This is the second game out of what? Four games currently? Five games? Four games, I just checked the recordings. Five of uh, four games? And I am not finding my protections? Dude, don't don't even give me that shiz. Do do not even try and give me that shiz that that's legit. 
That is the most unlegit thing in the history of ever. If I... 14, 14 cards and now I'm gonna look at how many cards? I don't know, like 50 trillion? Okay, we got him, boys, we got him. Okay, obviously not gonna do anything here. Oh, because he has counter spells. Yeah, counter spells. Oh, I hate it. Okay, but if we get the formal, it should be good. Look at this. Well, we mulligan the hand with technically two of them, but that doesn't mean that they're at the bottom of the deck, you know? Um. Bravo, sir. Playing against... <laughs> <laughs> Playing against Sinaldine Wreckage against the Simic deck out of 10. What if I had a bounce? You, sh you should have attacked with two things. Like, geez, Louise, my dude. Seriously. What if I had a bounce? Oh, that's just not how you play it. Ooh, regrowth out of 10. I could legitimately just regrowth and call it a day. Oh, this is... Okay, let's look at this. Two spell pierces, three spell pierces. So at best he has one job reese plus one spell pierce. That's three mana, three mana. I flip, I do that. What if... No, I, need, I, I still need to do it 100%. Yeah, I still need to do this 100%. That, that's so sad, though. That's that's legit sadness. Okay, but then I'm gonna pop to discover the formulas, and that should give me a legit, a, a legit haymaker. Let's see, how much is this? There's... No. One, two... <gasps> No, 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 no. The key is I can't do that. Okay, so here's the deal. Even... The only way this backfires is if he has Spill Pierce and two Jabri's Disruptions, which I don't even think Wizards will allow. Because, again, keep in mind, I have said this multiple times before in life, uh, but the Primal Amulet is a counterspell blocker. You can't counterspell anything that has a pri uh, Primal Amulet in it. So, you know, there you kind of have it. Uvu. Uvu tactics as always, boys. But yeah, if I do this and I do that, it's two, it's two festivals, which means he needs to have... Which means he needs to have three counterspells in his hand. Which, even though he's playing, uh, drawing extra cards with that, is extremely unlikely. No, seriously, if I have milled all of his counter spells, but he still had all of his the uh, the rest of the fifty percent of counter spells at the top, yeah, I, I I'm kind of ah, there we go. Okay, so first things first, instantaneously do this, so he can't, so he can't stop us, can't stop us now. I'm sorry. I... I will behave. I will not behave. I... Yeah, you see what I mean? Like, Jesus Christ, who even uses that? You absolute insane animal. Look at this. That's... Deny... Denial out of ten, baby boo. You see what I mean? Insanity. Peak, peak insanity. No one normally runs decks like this, but Wizards is matching me up against matchups like this, which make, you know, again, absolutely not a single shred of goddamns. Dude, should I be safe or not? <laughs> Dude, I'm just gonna use one. And then it's gonna be, again, com uh, uh, festivities. <laughs> yeah, th this works. This This works fine. This should be the dub, though. This should this should 100% be the dub. What a situation like, jeez, Louise. Someone, ooh, wooby, wooba. Wizards, please. You don't have to spice things up. I'm, I'm completely okay with vanilla. Said the guy who has admitted multiple times that he loves eating ass, though. Doesn't matter. 
Damn, ass eating is so good, though. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I think it's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm not even sorry. I'm not even sorry for the fact that I love eating ass. But anyway, magic. It's a children's card game. Yeah, I know. Bad subject, huh? Well, at least he didn't get this previously. Oh, look at that! He's tapping stuff! That's so cute! The good part is there's no way to... I think there's absolute... No, the ty uh, the uh, the village burning tyrant? That actually does... Wait. Since he has this... There, 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 no, 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 I ref there's no way, there is absolutely no way that he has to, there's no way, no, a one okay obey, two, yeah, there we go, yeah, I, I, I was gonna say, if he legitimately has two counter spells, I will freak out, nah, it's just impossible, it's just impossible, it, it should be legitimately impossible. And I'm gonna play extremely safe, by the way. Now, even playing safe is kind of low-key unnecessary, though. Uh, but I will do it anyway. And by the way, with regrowth, you can just get the formula back constantly, and you're... Man, you're just fine. Ton ton. One, two. Yes, this is fine. Oh, boy. Unbelievable, I know. How many counter spells can this guy even have? A billion? A trillion? Seems seems questionable. Also, by the way, discover the formula in this deck is amazing because explore suddenly just allows you to Well, it's just it costs nothing, get more mana, get more cards out. It's really it's really cool. It's really cheek, you know? Okay, let's see. So double regrowth? Get regrowth back, get something protection. Eh, is there a point? Probably not. Aquaman! How the hell did you just pay 3 million mana to play Aquaman? Oh my god, did you not rem. Very cheeky. Man, I for I have. I think this is my first. No, this is my second time. This is my second time in life seeing someone play Aquaman. Without revealing a murloc. It's, I think it's legitimately my first time, boys. Insane, I know. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Hey, maybe he skips the attack phase. Nah, he's not skipping shit. <laughs> yeah, he ain't, he ain't skipping anything, boy. Okay, okay. I should theoretically be able to cast Discover the Formula just two times and it should be good. Theoretically. Well. Stupid decisions have never- Yeah, stupid decisions have never stopped me previously and this does, you know, make it a little bit more spicy. And I like spice, sometimes. Well, yes, l l let us do it. Ooh, primal. Ooh, other stuff. Oh uh, yes, I will drop this. There we go. No lands. Well, admittedly, that's because by this doesn't draw lands. But you know, it's good. Also, the first thing you want to discard and usually is growth spiral. No questions asked. Well, look at that. He, he's still trying. Man, he's trying a lot, huh? But I will have... I have three counter spells up uh, here ready to go if need be. So, yeah, you can't exactly do anything against me. It's cute that you're trying. Admirable, even. You almost got me. Ch well, you technically still have a chance. There is a chance that he has three count. Dude, is this guy just waiting until he gets all the counter spells? Is that actually what's happening? There's no way, right? He's drawing so. Also, again, Tasha's Ta Tasha's evil laughter. I I would really love to have it by now. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, it's it's a thing. It's it's a thing. Wizards. Any any moment now, Chief. You know? It is good. Overdrawing plays a murloc. Oh, you you evil tapping creature. Let's see if he tries to uh, go for the counter spells. L let's see it to believe it. Come on. Traveling Chaos. What a name. No wonder you're playing a Murfolk deck. Ah, yes. The classic Spell Pierce. How about another one? Dude, if he legitimately has all three uh, three counter spells assembled here, I will be pretty, pretty pissed. He's doing that because he has another one. He's doing that because he has a another counter spell. That's the crazy thing. So he had at the bare min he has at the bare minimum two currently in there. Oh no! No, don't tell me. No, 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 no. Oh, it it. It's it's poopity poopity, poppity shoopity. You don't have it. Oh, you're tapping desperation, tapping boys. What up, Buttercup? Protection rection, boy. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna play a little bit of Krabby Pet. Oh, by the way, that does untap my land. I completely forgot about that. Uh, because it, 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 what was the description? A tap or untap? Yes. Man, what a treat. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's the sauce right there. Let's see. Will I actually mill? Well, the, it should be easy because. Yeah, I don't have all the basic lands played, so this should be extremely easy. Uh oh uh, yeah yeah. Oh, by the way, sometimes it's actually b better to not. Oh yeah, that's so much. Oh yeah, that's so much. Viscosi, but I think you're the doozy. Oh oh oh. I think that's it. Yeah, I, I think that's actually it, huh? Draco. Oh! Man, he's still trying. Say what you will about this dude, but he's still trying, and he's still trying really hard. But it should be impossible. Uh, again, it should be really impossible. Especially considering I can mill him and protect myself at the same time. Which is funny. Not funny, actually, but you know. Also, all of his counter spells require uh, mana to cast, uh, mana for me to counter spell if I can. So you know, bonus objective points, great stuff. Man, this guy, boys, he absolutely just does not uh, give up. Or maybe he did, and now he's open. Ah, uh, maybe. Oh, is he roping? I can't, I can't tell. Huh. Humbug. Well, I think it's fine. Okay. I assume we win because even if he counterspells, yeah, it, it's over. It, it's absolutely 100% over. Play that, play this, play that. Everyone sees it. And he's just roping. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sensen. Subscribe, like, and whatever, boys. Do it. Thanks. Thank you for the support. So it is pretty fun seeing what you can play up against when you're uh, when you're rolling with this bad boy of a deck. Because in my experience, when I made this deck and I started playing it, oh, it was horror. Wizards 100% has... Well, the Wizards intern has done a, a good job reporting this deck as being completely overpowered and absolutely non-dealable with. So, they know what's up. I, I, uh, the first games I played were against 
counter spell decks, decks with direct damage, not phys uh, combat damage, and counter spell decks, aka pretty much the only things that actually kind of do stuff against us. And honestly, dropping that uh, ruin crab there may have been a huge mistake. Admittedly, we milled some good good shit right there, boys. Uh, but again, we currently have nothing to survive. And yeah, that I kind of expected. But on the good side, it's not like he actually has anything... Well, I don't need currently deeper... Uh, uh, let's see, what do I actually do here? Well, something, I guess. Ah, let's just go for this. I currently have no protection cards, which is really bad, by the way. And, well, I do have a decent amount of mana, and I will have, uh, and I will be able to draw three cards next turn. So, there's gonna be some benefit to this, but, you know, on normals, oh, I'm just dead. <laughs> you see what I mean? You, you see what I mean? It should be impossible to lose against a deck like this, but Wizards just, just makes it happen, you know? Wait, did you screw up, you absolute inbred? Oh my god, Wizards gave you the dub and you just threw it away. Wait, I'm still dead though. Because he can make- uh... Yeah, you can't attack, you little shit. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter anyway, because if, unless I start drawing protections, I am absolutely dead. Well, you know what? I don't even need to block this. I can block this. He's he's still gonna pop that bad boy. All Sour Shepherd should be banned, as I have said multiple times. But it's all gonna be here. Can I draw the thing that I need to draw? Let's do it. Uh, the obvious answer is probably gonna be, uh... Nope, yes, well, still lost! Uh, eight protection spells, drew zero. That is extremely, extremely classic. Let, is this it? No, it's another ruin crab. Sixteen draws in, a eight thingy, yeah, it's, it, it's good. Well, GG. That was very close. Thank you, wizards. In normal circumstances, it is impossible for you to lose against a creature deck that has absolutely nothing that bypasses your immunities. It should be completely unfeasible for that to happen. Oh, but, you know, it happens on a regular day basis here. And this is actually not a bad card, considering we got the ramp as well expected. And now, wait, this has direct damage. Oh no, wizard. No. Why? Why must you ruin everything that I love? Oh, you cheeky indie development company. If this guy does not have direct damage, I will... Uh, I, I don't know what to say. Well, he has direct damage, but if he... Why are you looking at my primal amulet? Huh? Why are you looking at it, boy? Can I actually flip it? That's the real question. Should I actually flip it? That's also a very legitimate question. Uh, let's go like this. And let's go like this. Okay, so how do I want to do this? Uh, let's do it like this. Why do I have a feeling I should probably... I can't, but you know... Well, if I draw a land, I can. I have a feeling that I should probably flip this bad boy. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna risk it. Well, I'm not gonna risk risk it. But, you know, if he has an effect that targets the... Per Ooh, hello there. Interesting. And that's a lot... Uh, should I do it? Sh should I? Boy, sh boy, 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 should I do it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm, go I'm, I'm gonna do it. It doesn't matter. I I'm flipping it because the risk of him magically just eliminating my primal amulet is just too, too high. I, I can't take it. I'm not sure what this deck is because it's an Arcanist Lurus deck with Boros colors. That's insane, man.
Do you feel good? Azrael. Well, you picked an angel name, so probably not exactly good in the hood, if you know what I mean. But still. Okay, also, Boros things. I have no idea what the hell that even is. Oh, it's draw cod cod power up. Wow, cool. Not really. <laughs> but it is good, though. Yeah, it's really powerful if you think about it. But I don't want to think about it. Someone like this definitely has direct damage. And that means I may lose. Which is not Uvu strats. Not Uvu strats at all. Actually, the exact opposite of Uvu strats. That's also 6 damage. Not bad. But, you know, Boros Arcanist has also been a thing for quite some time. Oh, hello there, G Glaive Luminarch. So, there is a chance that he is rolling with... Well, ooh, that's... Well, that... Well, that's neat. All I can say about that one. That's that's pretty neat. Okay, let's do this and see what we get. What can we get? I guess stuff. Stuff sounds good. Yeah, stuff. Probably getting another discovered formula. And... Against a deck like this where you're, uh, well, all your, hello there, cute but no cigar, kind of expected. Well, that's a lot of protection. That's really a lot of protection, huh? Okay, just l l let's, let's switch the turn over. Well, I don't have to worry about protection if he uh, doesn't have any direct phase damage, but again... How, I, I refuse to believe that we live in a world where this guy does not have direct face damage. Also, he with the Burning Prophet, he can just scry everything. Also, have I said that she has absolutely crazy eyes, but, you know, uh, I'm not a picky man. Hey, if, if, if you're a man, you don't can't be picky. Well, at least most of the time. I am picky, though. Oh, but, hey, I'm not, I'm not picky in this sense, you know what I'm saying, boy? Anyway, use this. Commence the festival! There's an Arcanist, he's dead so he doesn't have anything down there. And there's crazy eyes and no one cares, the Luminarch. Oh yes. What a lineup. And it's all for me. And, Dreadhorde Arcanist, arguably, maybe was a man one. M woman. Well, again, dead. Not Nothing down there. Not picky, boy. Okay, let's see. What do we get? A land. Very, very... Muchos impresos, wizards. Muchos impresos. Well, the good part is, Witness the Future is very good. God, I love Witness the Future. It's my new favorite card in the history of ever. Uh, I could probably use one Explorer at the minimum. Okay, not gonna put anything else back there, though. Kinda seems pointless. And again, man, you should technically have a default uh, bigger win rate than 50% by playing this deck. Just because the fact that, by normal circumstances, regrowth, well, uh, nah, let's take Tasha's. L let's take the Tasha's Bashes. And you know what? Let's take another one. Why not? And now, I'm gonna cast one. Just send a message. Also, I want to see what's in his deck. This will actually help me do, uh, chew, uh, do, do a little bit of calculations. Uh, I saw something that's... that's Yep, l uh, lightning. A rip. But that doesn't do face damage. And no bolt. Okay. So the problem is... Wait, he can't win anymore. Okay, we got it. He can't win. Impossible. Uh, I hit... One lightning... Oh, I hit two lightning vortexes. Didn't even notice. Anyway, if you hit one lightning vortex and you have 11 HP... I'm no mathematician, but you're probably surviving. You know what I'm saying, boy? Exactly. So, do this. Just just to piss him a little bit off. Haha, <laughs> you know you need to. You know, you know what's up, boys. You know what's up. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, beautiful Billy Smoke. That's right, boy, that's right. First things first. 
Some of you may already recognize this deck design because it is one of my favorite Simic things to do. Oh yes, and it is ridiculously powerful most of the time. And Wizards absolutely knows it, and Wizards absolutely hates my guts for it. There's a reason I'm in the blacklist for Wizards, and that blacklist is, well, it's not actually legit that I am in there, but I am, because I ruin everything that Wizards tries. Every time I'm playing in, uh, playing this deck, I have played against something that either has graveyard uh, graveyard killings, or something of that nature. It, it's it's been pretty interesting to say the least. Wizards knows this deck style, and with the discover the fuel formula, oh ho, ho. boys, this deck this deck style has gotten absolutely out of hand, out of control, out of sync. It is. Well, it is absolutely impeccable. It's amazing. And 3 discovered the formulas when we get this fast, this much mana. It is pretty good. Oh, hello there, Tulski. Well, will, will this not be interesting? Let's see. Got uh, got one com uh, commands the festival. And I got a, primal, uh, got a primal amulet. What's our play here? Discover the formula or amulet into cultivate? Uh, could do... Yeah, let's just do the amulet. Let's flip the amulet. Flipping the amulet against a deck like this is an instant win condition of its own. Haven't found any, any ruiny crabby boys, which is a little bit frustrating, sad, and everything in between and in the middle. But, you know, it could always be worse. Well, I'm playing magic, so it's techni it technically cannot be worse. But what it is cool. And now... We have the New Year's to look forward. Ah, remember those good old days when you were, uh, not above 18? And you wanted to be 18 because, you know, then you could buy alcohol and cigarettes legally. Not all those years asking someone to buy them or finding a store that sells it to you illegally. No! And then you got, the, then, then you became 18. And man, now you wish you weren't. Am I right or am I right, boys? Jeez, if if I could be, if I could be not whatever age currently I am, because I'm really not even following my age most of the time. By the way, watch this pro gamer move. Double discovered the formula. When you thought disgust was well, when you thought you're disgusted with my actions already, now you see the power, the sheer. Velocity of this deck. How many things do I want to get rid of? Oh, it's hard to say. I don't actually even know what I'm clicking on. No, seriously, what am I clicking on? Whatever. It's done. It's over. GG, no re, my boy. You were playing an elf deck? Well, I am the elf. No, oh, no, that does make that makes zero sense. But you did play, put a Tulski in an Elf deck and a Ranger class and a growth, uh, growth Rites. No wonder you're 82%. No wonder. Because <laughs> you're bad. Please. Oh, well, he is going to get a little... Wait. Why just not attack with everything? Man, that made so little sense that's insane in the membrane. Also, should have probably dropped the Ruin Crabs before doing it. Oh, uh, but... Uh, but I guess it doesn't really matter, huh? Okay, so how do we want? Oh, we have one pollen haze, which means we can do some nasty, basty stuff. Yeah, yeah, dude, just, 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 just chillax there, okay, chief? Just, just chillax. In the meantime, let let me not chillax. Let me do a couple of things that you know qu uh, quest are questionable to say the least. For example, play a land, Ubu. Man, look at these ruined crabs go, baby. It's been a while since I have seen anyone legitimately play ruined crabs. Those were the days, my friend. I, I hope they will end really fast, by the way, because, you know, who, who wants to play against uh, things like... One? Okay, what's the second that I get back? I actually should also probably be smart about which one of these I'm getting back. Oh, but that's okay, friendo. Well, let's see. Ah, it doesn't really matter now, does it? Oh, yeah. That's the south. Oh, look at all these formula things. Also, I can do this, yeah, pretty easily. Dude, it's so ridiculous in a deck like this just doing the things that, that I am doing. 
It's it's not even a question, boys. Three ruin crabs. By the way, the game does hide Tasha's hideous laughter like there's no tomorrow. I don't know what exactly is the deal for or why it's the deal, but it is what it is. Tasha's hideous laughter is usually at the very bottom of the deck, and if it's not, then I don't know what I'm playing against. Usually something cheesy, cheesy sneezy. Oh, I like how this guy's continuing to try. He tried so hard, but got so far. But in the end, he was elf brain, and elf brains don't get far. Man, remember when a wildborn preserver was an actual fearsome card? <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> Even in its heyday, when it just came out, it wasn't a good card. Oh, that's just ridiculous, boys. I'm not gonna block even, you know what? Draw your card, that's just mill condition. Well, actually, you don't. Again, I did, ah. Oh, man, how many oopsies can I do? I'm really good at doing oopsies. Well, the good part is, hey, look at this. It seems like I'm, I'm, I won't have to even get Tasha's hideous laughter because I will be just, you know, milling my opponent down. Ooh, look at that, that's nice. So, I need to drop two more lands and we did it. But I'm assuming I can just hit Tasha's hideous laughter if I do it like this. He's completely done done and done so anyway. So, you know, it's it's pretty good. Let me just uh, double it up because there's no way I'm not milling eight cards with Tasha's. Oh, boys. What a combo. What a deck. What an elf player. Uh, hate. Okay. And we missed Tasha's hideous laughter. On one uh, on one hand, not even surprised, not even remotely surprised. On one hand, it, it, it is what it is. I this if you ever wanted proof about wizards being wizards and rigging everything, which is ridiculous, especially in mythical ranks. Uh, but in mythical ranks, by the way, I have seen them uh, rig the matchups a lot more. For example, I lost rank playing this game. Well, this deck, I would should say. 